Hi everyone and welcome to tonight's video. We're going to be featuring the once a month shopping haul that my husband and I are going on today. So I have $600 to buy our groceries, our paper products, our household products, fuel in our car, and all the food and litter for our kitty. So I'm going to show you each and every haul and how I spent that $600 and that's what the video is going to be all about. So I hope you're all doing well, enjoying the month of August. If you like these types of videos, hit the like button. If you want to see more of these types of videos, basically about shopping, cooking, and eating, please hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you here every week on Tuesday night at 6.30 p.m. Central Time. Okay, here's how we're using our what groceries that we have left here at the end of week two, the very end. So we've got some bread left, and we've got some cheese slices left. We've got two cans of chicken with rice, so we're going to use one of them, and two bananas for dessert. So we're going to have some grilled cheese sandwiches and chicken with rice soup for our Saturday night meal. Okay, as I said in my last uh, refrigerator, pantry, freezer challenge video, I have $600 this month to spend that will take care of all of our groceries, any type of beverages also, which I include in groceries, all of our cats, wet food and litter, all of our household goods and paper products, and all of the fuel for our car, plus two produce um, haul pickups. So I'm going to try to get all of that for us, two people, um, $600 a month total for all that, and then I'm just going to kind of show you each haul and everything that I get and how I spent that $600. So first we went to Walmart because we're going to have several stores to go to when we do our big shop. So just to cut that down a little bit, we were in the area of a Walmart anyway, so we stopped in and we got some potatoes. These were three fourteen dollars for Idaho potatoes. Um, five pounds. Five pounds of Idaho potatoes for $3.14. We got some bananas at 53 cents a pound, one to eat now and about six to eat later. My husband is wavering a little bit on just having a little packet of peanuts. He wants to have something a little more substantial. What that means, of course, is sugar. Um, you know, you pick your battles. He has been eating the peanuts for quite a while now. He gave up the Snickers. This mountain trail mix, these little pouches, are healthier than going back to any size of a Snicker bar. So I'm just going to go along with this for a little while and, and see if it works for him. Um, and that's about you know all you can do when you're trying out different things and that for your diet. So 24 pouches. Each pouch is like I think an ounce and uh, point or uh, 1.75 ounces for 24 pouches and I got it for 10.88 at Walmart. It's always a good time to buy these types of things if you're looking at chips or cookies or crackers or, or uh, some kind of snack mix because they make these value packs or whatever especially well at um, back to school time and you can find some value. Two loaves of bread, we switched from Sara Lee to Bimbo. We save 56 cents a loaf, and it's the same exact bread. So each of these were 188. I needed some yogurt, so I got um, two 32 ounces of yogurt, vanilla yogurt, and these were each two dollars and 39 cents a piece. And I eat that sparingly. Um, when we can get a hold of our raw milk, I make the homemade yogurt. I save a little bit of one of these, and then I add it to. Um, give it uh, the homemade yogurt a little bit of a taste. These are the cheapest eggs, cheaper than Walmart's eggs. And so in our uh, egg case at Wal our local Walmart, there's these eggs. Walmart's eggs of various different, uh, you know, small, medium, large, extra large, anywhere from six packs, 12, 18, 24, whatever. And then there's these. And these were $3.46 for 12 eggs. Cheese slices were 268 
for one pound of cheese slices. I do like the white American uh, cheese better than the orange cheese. A lot less, uh, um, you know, whatever uh, colorings they add to it to make cheese orange. So a lot less of that. Um, got this pumpkin. I had two store clerks make fun of me that I bought a soft decor pumpkin. But I had a couple of pennies to spend on something, and you know what? $6.88, and I just bought it. I have a lot of pumpkins that I have either made over the years, been given over the years, thrifted over the years. I don't know if I've, I think I might have bought one pumpkin in my life, and none of them are orange. Um, I usually buy real pumpkins that are orange, orange or white, so I got this. It'll go with the rest of the decor uh, that I put out for Halloween. I know a lot of people don't spend money or time on Halloween, especially when they get to be my age, but my birthday's on Halloween, so it's... It's a little bit of a deal for me. I don't make a big deal, but yeah, I do like to have um, all the Halloween decor and a little bit of Halloween candy to celebrate my birthday. And this year's a whopper because I turned 60 years old. So we got some Florida's Natural Juice, 264 for my husband. He was out of that. Had a little bit of milk left, so we got this for 418. I clean with Comet, vinegar, and bleach, so I needed some Comet. These reach $1.18, and tis the season soon of processing. I freeze um, lots of produce, um, and uh, so then I always have to buy two extra boxes. Otherwise, I think I go through two uh, 160 freezer bags a year, re reusing them multiple times. But then when it comes to produce, you want to make sure that it's nice and clean, so... We're going to have lots of that. I'm also going to make videos with that. So I bought two of those boxes, and each of those boxes were $4.64. Here's my first vegetable haul for the month of August. So I got a pound of green beans, and those were $3.99. And just a small bag of tomatoes, basically for salad or eating. Even though I'm growing my own tomatoes, I thought these looked absolutely delicious and for this I think it was maybe a, um, a pound and a quarter of tomatoes for $3.99 summer squash 75 cents it's enormous zucchini 75 cents even bigger zucchini 75 cents 69 cents for the two cucumbers and then two pounds of carrots for $5.99 and I got this from a local organic farmer. So we'll have those carrots here soon, the tomatoes and a nice salad, the green beans will be at least three or four meals. That'll be nice to have. I love frying zucchini with uh, potatoes or eating it with eggs and sausage. And of course the cucumbers. I've got some slicer tomatoes that I'm growing, so I'm gonna have two or three cucumber salads and that'll do it for uh, this produce haul and the next one it's going to be a lot of tomatoes. I'm going to do down some homemade spaghetti sauce and I'm also going to make a uh, try at some homemade roasted tomato soup. And so it's roasted tomatoes with some onion and garlic. Um, I'm not sure the rest of the spices but I know that you saute the onion and the garlic and obviously uh, you uh, cook the tomatoes, it's salt and pepper, and there's a couple of more spices in there, and then um, you pulse it and crumble um, bacon over the top of it and serve it with a grilled cheese sandwich. So that looked really good in a recipe. I'll post it in the um, comments section if you want to try that. Um, yeah, it's soon bread making time again. I learned how to make bread last year, and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to making bread again this fall and winter.